Hi guys. So I am here to Elizabeth and as promised, this is a very special video I'm making tonight. And it is one that's very serious and it's for people, for those of you who are suffering from severe depression, maybe even major depressive disorder. And it's much more common than you know about. It's much more common than you think. And a lot of people have a lot, there's a lot of stigma around it, but it's starting to open up a bit. There's not as much stigma as there was. And it's something though that a lot of people might be suffering from around you. You might not notice because they just kind of fade away. They fade into the disappear land and you just don't hear from them. You think they're busy, you think they're working and really that's not what's happening. They're just climbing themselves into a hole and they can't get out of that hole. So this video is about getting you out of that hole, getting you out of your bed, onto your feet. This is a boot camp to get you from where you are to where you want to be. This isn't going to take you where you want to be. This is a boot camp to get you up and in that direction. And after that, I can make more videos to help you along that path, or you can take what I've given you and run with it because you're going to have the ability to do that. So I don't want to waste too much time. I want to get right into it. If you feel this way, if you feel like you're on this path or some of these things describe you and how you feel maybe this video is for you or for someone that you love so maybe you're most likely in bed and maybe you're in bed right now even and you have no interest in eating you have no interest in getting up to use the bathroom it's even a struggle to convince yourself to get up and go pee because you're so unmotivated and you really just have to struggle to move because you physically feel like a rock and a weight you don't have interest in watching tv or videos or anything else which means that you've already taken one good step because you picked and chosen to watch this video and that's a huge step to be able to make a decision when you have major depressive disorder or when you have depression then that's a step forward because it's really difficult to even make a choice when you're so worn down and beaten down with depression okay so you've made already a huge that's already a huge accomplishment that you've that you've like a huge accomplishment that you've made so now you need to decide this is a critical point whether you want to get better and you're ready to get better right now or you don't want to get better if you don't want to get better i'll address that first keep taking steps forward like watching videos like this one watch as many motivational videos whenever you can make a choice to click on one and you have the mental capability to be able to stick through one pick short ones pick ones that are three or four minutes long five minutes long whatever you can do whatever you could tolerate and then maybe they'll get longer as you get as you get more motivation but keep watching videos if you're not ready to get better yet however if you are ready to get better I have one thing I need you to do and there's two there's two fields on this and I know I'll lose half my audience right now but that's a big fucking mistake if you walk away and you're suffering from this because of, of what I'm about to say. So you need to go to your doctor right away. You need to be completely honest and you need to go on medication. You need to tell them everything and you need to go on medication. And for all of you who don't believe in medication. It's just an irrational, ridiculous thought because pharmacokinetics and neurochemistry tells us that it works for a reason. The most brilliant people have spent their lives studying this and researching it to tell us why these medications actually work and do something. And from where you are right now, I really don't think you're in a position and nor would I be if I were in that position right now to be saying what works and what doesn't because whatever you're doing isn't working. So it's time to start something new and get your head out of your ass and whatever you believed in medication yesterday, you need to decide that it's time to try something new. And if you don't like it down the road in, in a month, then don't take it in a month. Don't try it. But maybe it'll change your life forever. And maybe you'll get a chance to live because you know where depression lands you? Gone. When there's no more, no more pharmacokinetic energy going on around here. When there's no more like like neuro neurokinetics or neurochemistry happening anymore because you're done, you're over, okay? It leads to suicide, it leads to death, it leads to early death, it leads to diseases, it leads to all sorts of horrible things, major depressive disorder and long-standing depression. So it's time to get up and get your head out of your ass and try something different. So that's my stance on that. And you can always choose to stop if you want to, but you gotta try it. 
because what's ha what you're trying now isn't working. You need to tell the doctor to start you on something now, not ask, not say, can I have something? I need help. You need to say, I need you to start me on something now because I can't go through one more day without hope. I don't have another day in me to go without hope. And if you're already on something and it's not working clearly, you need to say to the doctor, please start me on something else. Start me on a low dose and I will taper down on the medication I'm on. Start me on something that doesn't interact poorly with what I'm on, please, because I need help right now. And I'm here, I dragged myself out of bed. I can barely get dressed. Even if you go to the doctor in your fucking pajamas, it doesn't matter. You need to go to the doctor now. So, and that's what you need to say. And you need to insist on help. And if the doctor wants to refer you to someone, that's fine. But say, please help me in the meantime, because I don't have another day in me. And be honest, okay? Then go home and go back to bed because you've done enough for one day. What you did was huge. It was a huge accomplishment. But I want you to do something different when you go home and go back to bed. I want you to set your alarm for every three hours. And I want you to wake up and have to get out of bed and walk to the kitchen and get a glass of water and drink it standing there and then come back to bed. Set your alarm for every three hours during the day. Overnight, if you can sleep, great, because sleep is good, but sleep is really bad during the day. So you wanna start resetting your melatonin, resetting your sleep wake cycle and your serotonin and all of your brain chemicals that keep you awake during the day and keep you moving you wanna start resetting those chemicals. So set your alarm every three hours during the day to a place where you have to go to get a glass of water and back, not reach beside your bed, pour it halfway on your face and then go back to sleep, okay? Do that and do that for two straight days, okay? Do that and while you're doing that, if you feel like it, if you don't, you don't. That's enough, that's enough challenge. But if you feel like it, watch some videos in between on motivation, watch some videos on depression, on not depression, on beating depression, on people who have beat depression. Do that in between if you feel like doing anything, if you have some motivation. Set a wake up alarm after two days. This is what you're gonna do and you're gonna do it for one day. It's a challenge for one day to see if you can do it. Set a wake up alarm, get, get out of bed, brush your teeth, put some clothes on, then get back into bed. That's it, brush your teeth, get some clothes on, get back into bed with your clothes on. And do that, but still keep your three hour water alarm. Keep getting up every three hours for your water on that day. So now we're on to day number four, that's day number four, okay? So that's a day you're challenging yourself for real. You're gonna brush your teeth, get dressed, and wake up every three hours and go get a glass of water and come back to bed. That's all you gotta do that day. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot to most people, but if you suffer from this disease and this illness, you know this is a huge thing I'm asking. And that's a big challenge day. But then day five's gonna come and you're gonna start getting your ass back to the doctors. So you're gonna call that doctor. I would even call the doctor on day four and say, I need an appointment tomorrow on day five with that doctor. And you're gonna go to the doctor and you're gonna ask for an increase in that dose because when they start you on an antipsychotic or an antidepressant, they start you on the lowest dose possible. So after on day five, you're gonna go back. Even if it's a walk-in clinic, they will help you if you're desperate. If you tell them straight up the story and the truth and what's going on, they'll help you. And you're gonna say, I've been on this drug for five days. This is what's changed. This is what ha what's hasn't. Can you please raise my dose? That was the base dose, the bottom dose. Can you please raise my dose, taper it up? Okay, and then they're gonna do that for you because they put you on the lowest dose to start for safety. Then you're gonna keep your routine for two days, but set an alarm during this time once a day to make a phone call, any phone call, five minutes. Even if you call the fucking Royal Bank and sit on hold for five minutes and then hang up. Make a phone call once a day and do that. And I want you to do that and keep that routine for two, two straight days. And at the same time, you're still drinking your water. You don't have to get up and get dressed and brush your teeth, but I bet you'll feel like you want to because you already did it once and you don't wanna go backwards. You always wanna move forwards, okay? So on day three, you've started your new medication dose. Now it's time to start a habit and you're gonna pick a habit that you wanna start. Maybe it's eating a meal once a day at a certain time. Maybe it's having a shower. Maybe that's the habit you wanna start and you haven't been showering because it's been too much of a huge ordeal to do it. But now you're on a higher dose of medication. You've been on it now for a couple of days. You, you've you been on the medication now for more than seven days overall, and you're, you're going on eight, nine days altogether with the higher dose. 
So it's time, start, pick something, start a shower. Maybe it's walking to the mailbox to get the mail in back. You don't have to read the mail, just put it in a pile somewhere. So you did it, put it out of sight too, so you don't have to think about it, but go and get it, walk out and get it, or have that shower or plan a meal. And that's gonna be your new routine, okay? Do this for three straight days while you're taking your medication. Don't ever miss a dose. That that medication is your oxygen, okay? Three Every three hours, you're gonna be getting up to go for, for a glass of water. You're gonna be making one phone call every single day and you're gonna be doing that one new habit every single day. So now you're doing four things every day as opposed to just breathing and laying there with a blank mind too tired to even think or concentrate about anything. You've made tremendous progress. You're like halfway through boot camp, more than halfway through boot camp. Like you're 80% of the way there. Okay. So now you're going to start to feel some hope and some recovery and you're going to feel some joy and you're going to feel some joy because you're going to feel that hope and recovery. And you're going to know like something's changing here. Like I'm starting to feel different. I'm thinking about things. You think you start thinking about things that you were too tired to think about before you, before you'd lay in bed blankly staring. And now your mind is working again. You start thinking and that brings joy. And the root of determination is joy. And this is the goal to get to determination. Okay. And once you have determination, there is no stopping you. This will be an illness that is in your past. You might be one that you struggle with and you have to stay on top of your whole life and manage, but it's one that you'll have conquered, okay? So you are you are you now have some power over depression. You like at this point, you have power over depression. And you might not have won the game yet, but you have power over it, okay? So now we're going to talk about your habit, your new habit. There's a habit loop and it's the cue it's the it's the actual routine like the habit itself and then it's the reward system and your cue every day is going to be your alarm where you're setting your alarm to go get a glass of water you're setting your alarm to go and take that shower or to walk and get your mail you are setting your alarm to pick up the phone and make a phone call that alarm is your cue okay and maybe your action is eating something or it will be whatever those things are that we talked about. That's the action, okay? That is your action, that's your new routine, okay? Even if your routine seems so small, one little thing, I eat something today, big whoop. It's a big fucking deal when you have major depressive disorder. So be really proud if you've managed to accomplish that and do it every day for more than one day in a row. Like, and to even do it one day is a huge challenge. So to be able to do that, even if you, you skip a day, you mess up one day and you don't, you don't, you can't do it. You can't drag yourself out. You didn't mess up. You're fighting a horrifying life ending illness and you're winning it. You're beating it. You're just beating it. It's one step forward, two steps back sometimes. One step forward, two steps back. It doesn't mean you don't step forward. You have to keep stepping forward no matter how many steps back you take along the way. All right, so then you're going to add each new routine and habit. You're, you've got your cue, you've got your routine, you've got your reward. Your re reward is gonna be, which will begin to happen, is, is going to be that feeling that you get that you're accomplishing something, that you're moving forward. The reward is that you are starting to feel some joy and some hope and your mind is working again and you'll feel good about this and you'll, you'll start getting endorphins and dopamine hits even though you don't realize it, you'll start getting little dopamine hits and that is recovery. That's chemical recovery in your brain when you start producing dopamine again. And it'll start happening when you start achieving these smaller goals, okay? And when you start implementing these routines into your every single day. So keep at it, you'll start getting dopamine. Once you start building dopamine and, and serotonin starts building up, you're gonna start having like overwhelming, feelings of accomplishment and joy, and it will build up in you a, a bit at a time, a bit at a time, but I promise you it will, it's gonna happen. But now you gotta keep going to your doctor and you gotta keep going to your doctor because until you start looking forward to things, until you start looking to what am I gonna do tomorrow or what's my next habit I'm gonna add, what's the next thing I'm gonna do, you're not at the right dose yet. So you got to keep going to your doctor because that's joy and determination and growth to keep pr keep progressing forward. Keep your routines, keep taking your meds, and my friends, 
you will be on your way. You will have, be on your way to beating depression, beating major depressive disorder. And like I said, this isn't the whole path. This doesn't take you to the end. This is a boot camp to get you out of bed and in the right direction. And I promise you, if you take this video, watch it again, take some notes this time, or as soon as you save it, and when you feel mentally able to do so, write down some notes about what I said, what to do for one day, what to do for two days, what to do for three days. These are scientific, scientifically proven timelines that retrain your brain, your neuro connections and your brain neurons to think and change in different patterns because your brain is malleable. It can change patterns and change habits and thought processes. And this is how, the way you do it with these time frames. This is how long it takes for the, the chemical patterns and the chemical directions and the pathways to start changing direction. So write down when you feel like you can exactly what I said and do it and I promise you if you take medication and do it at the same time you will be on your way to beating this disease and to it becoming part of your character and experience that you have and make you a stronger more resilient more more like full complete human being because you understand something more than other people do in a way that other people could never understand it and you'll be able to incorporate the things you learned into anything that's difficult for you in your life so that's it that's the video guys i hope it was helpful please if you watch to the end subscribe to my channel i make videos like this to help you improve your life and help everybody improve their life from all different walks of life with different reasons and sometimes just for no reason because it's time for a change and time to do better and that's what I do. My name is Deirdre Elizabeth. Subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I will see you guys soon. Please comment if you're going to do this. I'm really excited to know. Thank you guys. Have a great night.